Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can connect to list or libraries using the dynamic filtering. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our M365 admin center and here is my SharePoint admin center. We'll click on it. All right, uh, so now we are on our SharePoint admin center and to demonstrate today's video, we'll click on active sites and for this video demonstration, I have specifically, we will pick up one site with the name of dynamic. All right, so uh, first of all, I will go to site contents. So here I have two list, uh, one list name is employee list and another one is employee info list. And there is one document library as well with the name of projects. So basically what we're going to do using the dynamic filtering, we will, you know, filter this list and uh, uh, library, this particular library projects together. So let's see how we can do that. So let me open these both the list and uh, document library in the new tab. Okay. So this is my list number one. Here we have the employee list, which contains the name of the employees department, which they belong to date of joining and the status. Now the second list is employee info list. So again, here we have the employee name, uh, con uh, country from there, basically they belong to, then there's a phone number and this is a mail address of my employees. And the last is our document library. These two were the previous one were list. And now this is a document library. As you can see, there are a few documents which resides inside this document library. And here we have only two columns, uh, the name column, as well as the project owner column. These are the name of my employees. Uh, so now we'll go to the home of, uh, you know, this particular site dynamic using the dynamic filtering. We will filter both the list as well as the document library. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, we will just, you know, edit the home page of this site. Now I will click on this, add a new section and I will pick up uh, three columns. It's up to you. Like you can pick one column or two column. So we'll go with the three column. So first of all, I will click on this add and here I will click on list. So it will show you the list of list which resides inside this site dynamic. So first of all, I will pick up the employee list. Okay. Once you will click on it, you can see the list is here. Now on the second tab, I will again click on plus. I will again click on list. Now this time I will click on employee info list. Okay. So basically what we'll do using the second list, we'll just simply edit the web part of this list and if you will see all the way to bottom, there is an option of dynamic filtering. So it's written clearly filter by item selected in another list or library. So by default, this is always turned off. So in order to, you know, enable it, you have to just toggle this. Now, first thing it will ask you like column in employee info list or to filter. So in this list, basically which column you want to pick up to use the filter option. So we'll drop down menu will select the employee name because this is the common thing you if you will see the employee name and name though the column name is you know quite different but the names are similar and common so i will select the column name employee name now the second option is list or library containing the filter value so if you'll drop down there is a list employee list so we'll select this as soon as you will select that list then we have the option of column containing the filter value properties Okay, so here we'll select the name column because the using the name we want to filter this list. And now after selecting all these things, we'll click on apply. So once you will apply this, uh, you can click on republish. So as you can see, both the lists are now showing parallel to each other. Now again, we will republish the page because there is another document library, which we have to link with this, you know, uh, these lists in order to filter the, them. So I will again click on this. Now this time we'll not use the list web part. We'll just simply use the document web part. So this is our document library web part. We'll select this and it will sh show you all the documents which resides inside the dynamic site. So here we'll select the project. This is our document library, which we want to use for this video demonstration. Now again, I will just simply edit the web part. Okay, uh, just simply enable this uh, dynamic filtering option. Now column in project to filter. So I will select this. So I will filter it using the 
project owner column which is this this is my project owner column so I will select project owner now we have to select the list and library containing the filter value so we'll select our first list employee list now column containing the filter value properties so which column it's containing the filter value properties so I will select name now I will click on apply so once we'll click on apply we can click on republish now our dynamic filtering we have set up uh, properly for these two lists as well as for document library now my goal is like in my organization I just want to you know check the employees who are currently you know assigned to some projects they are currently working on the projects and which are their ongoing projects and I just want to you know filter those if in your organization you have thousands of employees and it will be a you know very easy task for you by you know just uh, enabling the dynamic filtering you can just simply check it like if I want to see the projects which are you know in which currently Rachit is assigned and he is working so I will just simply need to you know select this radio button and you can see once I will select this you know Rachit it will give me the from the employee in full list it will give me the employee name Rachit the country where from where he belonged to the his contact number and the mail address and this is the currently project the single project in which Rachit is currently working in my organization now similarly if I want to you know check it for Ella so if I will select Ella you can see again once I will select the Ella it will give me the employee name country and here is the two projects in which currently Ella is working if you will uncheck this all the details uh, which resides inside this list will be showing to you so friend this is my you know the small example to you like how we can basically you know use the dynamic filtering to filter out uh, any data any list or the document library and how you can basically connect these uh, you know the list as well as the document library so that you can get the desired results very fast and very quickly so friend that's how you can you know just uh, use the dynamic filtering to filter the content which is there inside the list or the document library so that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video